Welcome back. This is the Tutor Wizard. I'm Adrian. Please subscribe right here and hit the notification bell. You'll get notifications for this series and a bunch of others on our channel. We're doing multivariable calculus. We're in chapter two, which is double and triple integrals. And we're doing today the application of double integrals, which is some of the more interesting stuff. This time specifically, what we're going to start off doing is the mass of a lamina or a planar region. That's our fancy math term for some kind of region in the plane. And this time, if you've done this before in some calculus class, we had to say, well, we can't do, we're going to assume that the density is constant across a lamina, so it doesn't vary. But we know that in the real world, the sheet of metal or whatever is probably not going to have the same density all the way across because things aren't perfect. So we want a more realistic version of this. And we're going to look at the mass of a lamina, which now has a varying density. Let's do that. All right, for our first application, density and mass, what we're going to use these for is to find center of mass eventually. But how do I find the mass of a lamina or a planar region, which has now a varying density, rho? We want rho of x, y to be continuous on this region d, and therefore we have that rho is essentially this limit of the change in the mass over the change in area. In physics, basically, density is mass over volume or in our case area because we're in two dimensions so what's going to happen with that is we want the mass so we're looking at row a essentially but we're going to use the small changes first and then use the double integral idea is what's going on here from that idea we subdivide this up delta m and delta a are the mass and area respectively of this small sub rectangle we pick a sample point in there xij and yij star just like we would before and therefore the pro the approximate mass of this region d is the sum of all of those rectangles and the mass in each rectangle is going to be rho times delta a so if i pick a sample point in there in each one the approximate mass will be this double sum now what are we going to do we're going to push k and l to infinity and we will get the mass as a double integral with rho as the integrand let's do that all right pushing k and l to infinity in that horrible sum or the approximate approximation of the mass we're going to get the total mass of this lamina d which is the limit of this double sum and that turns out to be our definition of the double integral of the rho or the density functional over the region d and so to memorize this now we're going to use this is going to be centers of mass are going to be one over m times the moments of mass whatever those are we'll see in one of our other videos therefore the mass of an arbitrary lamina which can now have varying density is just the double integral over that region of the density function let's try an example all right example one let's find the mass of the triangle with vertices 0 0 2 1 and 0 3 if we have a density of x plus y across that triangle first of all let's draw and find the bounds of our region that is we have two lines it says which is let's draw our scale one two three one two three we have the point zero zero we have the point two one and we have the point zero three so this is our triangle and that's our region d that we have to integrate across and we're trying to find the density of this therefore we have to find our bounds First of all, I see that x is going to 0 and x is going to 2. And then I have to find, I can set this up as two functions of y, it looks like. And that's going to give me, how am I going to do that? First of all, I need the slope of the top one. So m2 is going to equal 3 minus 1 over 0 minus 2, which is 2 over negative 2, which is negative 1. And so using this point, I see that y is equal to negative x plus 3 or 3 minus x is the equation of that line. So this one also is 3 minus x. For the other one, m1 is equal to, I have to subtract these ones now, I'm going to get 1 minus 0 over 2 minus 0, which is 1 half. And then using the point 0, 0, I see that y is equal to 1 half x and this is my second bound and then so that says that 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2 and 1 half x is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 3 minus x these are my bounds for my integration so I have a general region this gives me 
the mass is equal to the double integral over the region D of my density function rho dA. And that is going to give me, now that I've set it up, the integral from 0 to 2, the integral from x over 2 to 3 minus x of x plus y, my density function, dy dx. I can now compute that. That is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of xy plus 1 half y squared evaluated from x over 2 to 3 minus x dx. This is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of x3 minus x plus 1 half 3 minus x squared minus x squared over 2 plus 1 half x over 2 squared dx. What is that now going to give me? That gives me equals the integral from 0 to 2. We have to clean this up. I get 3x minus x squared plus in here I'm going to have 1 half 9 minus 6x plus x squared minus x squared over 2 plus 1 over 8x squared dx. Let's move that mess up and clean it up. Moving it up and simplifying, I get this expression. Now I can clean this up a little bit. I get 3x and 3x cancels. I also notice that this guy and this guy cancels. That gives me the integral from 0 to 2 of negative x squared plus 9 over 2 minus 1 over 8x squared. I can combine those now. dx, this is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of negative. Adding those, I'm going to get 9 over 8x squared plus 9 over 2 dx. What does that give me? That equals negative 9 over 8 times 1 third x cubed plus 9 over 2x evaluated from 0 to 2. And that gives me equals negative 3 over 8 times 2 to the power 3 plus 9 over 2 times 2, which equals negative 3 8 times 8 plus 9, 2 over 2, cancel, 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 and that gives me negative 3 plus 9, which is 6. What we're going to do now is, because we have density, normally we're talking about mass density, but we can also talk about charge density in physics. So the electric charge density over a planar region is in charge per unit area. Usually, we're going to use coulombs per meter squared, but it doesn't matter. We're mathematicians. We're not going to worry about the units per se. What we do is we're just going to change rho to sigma now. So instead of the mass density being rho of xy, the charge density is sigma xy. And we get the total charge over a region, or a lamina d in the plane, is given by the total charge q is the double integral of the electric charge density function over that region. Let's try a couple of those ones. All right, example two, we're going to do charge density, which is much cooler than regular mass density. I don't know. What is mass? I don't even know what that one is. Is that the Higgs field? That's what gives things mass. Anyways, physics. If I have an electric charge density over a rectangle, 0, 1 cross 1, 2, and it's given by sigma is the paraboloid x squared plus 3y squared, then we want to know what the total charge density Q is over that rectangle. As usual, I set up and draw my planar region. This time it's a nice regular rectilinear rectangle, not a polar rectangle. What is it? It says it's 0, 2. So X goes from 0 to 2 and Y goes from 1 to 2. So it's going to be this rectangle. This is my region R. That says 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2. 0 is oh, 1 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 2. And my charge density is this guy. That says that the total charge over that region is the double integral over the rectangle of my charge density, which looks awfully mathy, physicky. And then physicky, yeah, I can make a pet, petty, petty, petty. Those are my words. They're like, yeah, you can keep them. This is equal to the integral over 0 to 2 
the integral from 1 to 2 of my charge density, which is x squared plus 3y squared dy dx. And it's iterated, so you could actually change it if you want by Fubini. Let's stick to our guns, though. This is now equal to the integral from 0 to 2. I'm fixing x and integrating y. This gives me x squared y plus 3 over 3 y cubed evaluated from 1 to 2 dx. That gives me equals the integral from 0 to 2. You actually get exercise when you double, do double integrals because you have to use so many lines. Yeah, i got to walk all the way across the board. We're going to get a big one and you'll see me running back and forth. This is equal to, what do I get? 2x squared plus 8 minus, I'm putting 2 and 1 into where y is, x squared plus 1 dx, which is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of 2x squared minus x squared, which is just x squared, and 8 minus 1 is a 7 dx. That's now equal to the in, no, we can compute, you only have to do another step. By the fundamental theorem of calculus, this is 1 third x3 plus 7x evaluated from 0 to 2, which is equal to 1 third 2 to the 3 plus 7 times 2, which is 8 over 3 plus 14, which is uh, 3 over 3, which is the meaning of life in the universe. 8 plus 42 over 3, which is 50 over 3. Let's do one more of those over a polar region. I like physics. All right, one more. Let's do charge density of a function or the total charge density of Q over a polar region now. So we're going to have to use a double integral to describe electric charge density using polar coordinates. Yeah, math is awesome. Let's do this. What do I have? I have a charge density, which is 1 plus x squared plus y squared. Oh, it's hitting a nerve. That's 1 plus r squared. So I want to use polar coordinates. And it gave me a unit disk. There's x squared plus y squared again. It's everywhere. I should probably use polar coordinates. What does that tell me? Sketch your region first. I have, oh, don't draw your crosshairs now. Can I draw a perfect unit circle inside the crosshairs? I better be able to. I want to be able to draw an assisting chapel too. Damn it. This is our region. The unit circle x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to one, the unit disk. What do I see with that? That gives me my bounds. The zero is less than or equal to r is less than or equal to one, and zero is less than or equal to theta is less than or equal to two pi. I have a full revolution. What do I do with that? That says that the total charge density the is the double integral over my region d of my charge density function. That now in polar coordinates is equal to the integral from zero to 2 pi, the integral from 0 to 1 of my charge density function, which is 1 plus x squared plus y squared, which is r squared, times the pirate already already theta. And now what do I do with that? This is the integral from 0 to 2 pi, first of all, of d theta, times the integral from 0 to 1 of r plus r cubed dr. So I simplify, I split it when I can. This is equal to theta evaluated from 0 to 2 pi times 1 half r squared plus 1 fourth r to the 4 evaluated from 0 to 1, which is 2 pi times 1 half plus 1 quarter, which is equal to 2 pi times 3 quarters which is 3 pi over 2. Please subscribe right here. Hit the notification bell. You'll get notifications for this series and a bunch of other ones. I'll see you next time. Charge density.